compositing tutorial. Now we're going to see where all the magic happens actually, which is in the node editor. Or precisely in the composite nodes. Here we see two nodes. The first one is the render layer nodes, which uh, means, well, render layers actually are just a way of organizing our render, just like we will do it on the 3D view with the layers there. We also we can also arrange render layers, but we are going to see uh, we are going to talk about that on our next tutorial. Well, on the latest one, the fourth part. For connecting nodes, you just have to click on any of these little circles which are on the right side. Those are the outputs into any input in the left side of any node. Just click, drag, and you are there. For pre resolution we're going to use a special node which is Viewer. We can also see it in the composite nodes. That's the output, the main output, the render, what is going to look, how the render is going to look at the end. The viewer is just uh, pre visualization. We can also have this viewer on the background. There. If we enable backdrop, Blender will draw this viewer in the background of your node editor, so you can go s full screen and see everything. Now I'm just playing with the RGB curves, you can see that now everything I changed appears in the background, I'm changing the RGB colors and the C1, the combined colors. Let's add some more nodes, type color, mix just to extend the change, the chain and uh, show you a little bit of the workflow so now I just keep connecting them this mix node it does what its name says which it mix, mixes two inputs type images using a factor as a value for example there I'm just mixing my image with a red color and a factor of 0.5 you can have many different types of mixing even really weird things that's a cool one uh, if you already worked with 2D software you can you already may be familiar with this So let's add a new one, a blur, just to blur our image. So I want to actually mix these two. Oh, by the way, when I'm just clicking on the nose, as you can see there, and uh, the, the preview gets connected automatically, the viewer node gets connected automatically, that's by holding control and just selecting the node. Either a left click or, le or right click works, so no problem. It's really fast. You just control left click or right click and it gets connected automatically. So, and now as you can see, I'm just mixing these two nodes using screen now, which is nice for a glowy effect, but the effect is too strong actually because I'm mixing two images, same as bright and yeah, it's too bright so what I'm going to do now is just dark my images, darker my images before going into the blur node so actually what I'm going to mix afterwards, after the blur will be a dark version of my of my image so that way you can see that I can I only highlight some parts of the image, the more right parts of it. You can also do really weird things and get really weird results like that, because Blender works 
uh, this is the output from the render which is floating point so you can the colors can get out of range easily well as easy as you do messy things with the with the curves like for example that kind of things or that kind of things ugly So I think that's okay. I have my image with the color correction and the glow on top of it. Now I could add some other filters like uh, sharpen for example to get everything more sharpie. Just add filter, filter. Now just choose sharpen lower the value one is too much way too much so maybe one or even less than one like point oh something you can also if you want really sharp images you can also change your filter for oversampling or anti-alias from Gaussian which is the default to Mitch or any other if you like but uh, I like Mitch as well so as you can see it's much more sharper now so when we were rendering the composite wasn't there actually the, the things all the things we changed were, were they weren't there because this is a post process effect it happens at the end of the rendering and you have to enable do composite for it to, to work on the animation anim panel on the scene buttons also if you delete it blender will complain that it uh, doesn't have any output node because as we said the viewer is just visualization it doesn't actually matter on the rendering so we add a composite we enable do composite and now we can render we can see the render looks exactly as before and all the compositing work will happen behind the scenes at the end of this of this render sometimes it can get really long if you have a really big chain of, uh, of nodes everywhere it can get really long so I think that's okay for now let's move to some more compositing